Hey guys, welcome back. I've had my iPhone 13 Pro Max for about three months now, and I finally took the time to play around with it and customize it to my own liking. I recently also created my own icons and widgets, which you can find on my shop, and I'll be showing you how I customize my phone with them. So the phone case that I'm using is this baby pink silicone case, which I'll link in the description box below. It's a really, really soft and bendable case, and what I like most about it is that the camera edges are raised. So if I ever dropped my phone, I don't have to worry too much about the camera lenses coming into contact with the ground. And I'm finally adding my little mochi phone grip to my case considering this phone is pretty large and heavy so I do have a higher chance of dropping it. I'll link my phone grip in the description box below. So when I attach my phone grip, I like to gauge where I usually hold my phone or how I usually hold it and then try to match the phone grip to that position so that when I do actually put on the phone grip, it's not in an uncomfortable position that is unnatural for me. So once I've wiped down my phone case with some alcohol, I just rip off the backing to the phone grip adhesive and then I just stick it on. So I make sure that I push the grip against the case really, really well, just to make sure that it's stuck on there before I try to extend the foam grip at all. And now I just test it out and it is good to go. So unfortunately, iOS doesn't make it easy to set up your own custom icons, but I'm going to show you how. So first things first, you want to search for the Shortcuts app on your phone and open it up. As you can see, I've already set up some of my icons because my home screen is customized already, so I'm just going to do a test one to show you how to do it. So you click the Add button at the top right, and here you can name your shortcut if you want. You don't have to, but I think it's just more useful for Siri. And then you choose the open app option and here you want to choose the application that you want the shortcut to open. So I'm just going to choose Instagram to make it easier. And then you want to click the blue circle at the top right. And then add to home screen. And then here is where you can customize the name and icon of your shortcut. And then you click add and it will show up on your home screen. So you have to do this for every single icon that you want customized. Now the annoying thing about these shortcuts is the notification banner as you can see here. So it just like pops up like that. So I'm going to show you how to remove it. So you want to go to settings and then screen time and then see all activity. And then you scroll down to the notifications section and you should see shortcuts on there. So you wanna click into it and switch off the notifications. Now, you might not find shortcuts on the list there, and that's because screen time hasn't registered that you're using shortcuts enough for it to put it on the list. So what you wanna do here is just to set up your icons as normal, and once you've set them up, you just keep opening one of those customized shortcuts so you keep receiving that banner notification and then once screen time has had enough time to register that you've had enough shortcut notifications, it should show up on the list. And then you just want to keep checking the screen time list until you see the shortcuts with the arrow in the notification section and you should be able to switch off the notifications. So there's still one more step to do to turn off the banners and that is to set up automations for your shortcuts. So you basically want to go back into your shortcuts app and hit the automation tab. And you have to set one up for every single custom icon that you've made. 
So at the top, you hit add and then create personal automation. And then you scroll down until you find app. And here you just choose the apps for the custom icons that you have made. I'm just gonna go back to Instagram since that is the custom icon I set up earlier. And then you hit done and then next and then add action. So in the search bar, search for the word nothing. And then you should be able to add a nothing script. And then you hit next. And the most important part here is that you turn off ask before running. And then you hit done and the notification banner should no longer show up when you open a shortcut. So once you've set up your automations for all of your custom apps, then the banner should not show up anymore. It's not 100% foolproof. I still find myself seeing the shortcut banner maybe once or twice, you know, like here and there, but it's not too much of an issue most of the time. So to customize the widgets on my phone, I use an app called Color Widgets, which you can find on the App Store for free. It's probably the best app I've found so far for customizing widgets because there are so many options. So you can go to the App Store and download it. It looks like this. And once you've downloaded it, you can open it up. And as you can see, there are so many, so many different types of widgets that you can add to your home screen. The one that I use on my main page is this calendar one here. And once you get in there, you'll see that you're able to either add a photo to the back of the widget, or you can just chuck the photo and then have it with a plain background color, which you can customize the color of, and also the text. So for my calendar widget, you might have seen already earlier on my home screen, but I just want to do a white background with a purple text. And like I mentioned earlier, there are so many ways to customize it. They even have a whole spectrum. They have sliders, they have grids for the colors that you want for your widget, which is awesome because I haven't seen this in other apps before. Like I used to use Widget Smith, but it just didn't have as much customization options. And one more cool thing here is that you can also change the font. Now, once you're happy with your customization, you can hit set widget. I've already made all of my widgets before, but what you would usually do is set as new widget. And then after that, you go to your home screen and then just hold it so that you can edit it. And at the top left, you hit that little add button and search for color widgets. So you can choose whatever size you want your widget to be, but I like the small one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and choose that one. And once you hit add, it should show up on your home screen. Now I'll just show you how to set up the photo widgets. It's essentially the same process as setting up the calendar one. For this part, you just have to tap the widget while it's still jiggling and then just select the newest widget at the bottom of the list. You might have noticed that I have a little heart icon in my status bar and that is something that you can do with the focus mode in iOS 15. So to get this little icon, you just have to go into your focus settings and create your own custom focus mode. So you hit the add button at the top right and you choose custom. And here is where you can choose your icon and name your focus and choose the color and everything. So I chose the heart already, so I think that's why it's not showing up in this list. So I just went with a star. But for you guys, if it's your first time setting the focus mode, then a little heart icon should be available for you. So you can finish setting up the rest of your focus settings. And then once you have finished, you click OK and you turn it on and the little icon should show up in your status bar. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. And if you do end up using my icons or my phone grip, then tag me on Instagram at sleepydays so I can see.